We asked and you delivered. After only one week of submissions, you came through with some incredible talent. So we thank you. We here at Self Made, we are definitely feeling the love. From solo singers to hip hop artists, you did not disappoint. Let's take a look at a few of the standout submissions from this past week. I never wanted no pity. I live and die on my own. Darling, don't you hesitate. Look, I'm pulling up to your castle, baby, I'm feeling your passion. Uh, I know you don't play the dance, so pick up your sword like Diana. Come on. Stop. Yes, a huge, huge thank you again to everyone who submitted. If you didn't make it this time, don't worry. We're going to be doing this again very soon. So all you got to do is stay tuned to Live by Live on social media and go self-made on Instagram after the competition. And remember, keep writing that music. All right, so let's get to it. We are proud to announce in no particular order our first contestant. Hailing out of Los Angeles, California, this is an all-girl power group going by the names Spring, Summer, Winter, and Autumn. These ladies have some serious talent. This is season. All right, let's meet them. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. It's seasons. <laughs> What's up, ladies? How are you? Okay, introduce us to all of you. Who are you, each of you, and where are you from? I'm Spring, and I'm from San Diego. Nice to meet you. I'm Autumn, and I'm from LA. I'm Summer, and I'm from Los Angeles. I'm Winter, and I'm from Indiana. Amazing. Excuse me, Autumn. I Now I know that your name's Autumn, not Fall. There's a difference. <laughs> Autumn is it's more okay. pretty than fall. I'm uh, definitely the clumsiest of the season, so sometimes they call me fall. <laughs> when you heard about Self Made, what was your initial reactions? Uh, it's, it's just perfect for us. Yeah. It's all Self Made. Yeah, we, we've yeah. all been working so yeah. hard on our own, and then uh, this is just a great way to showcase that. What do you think it is about you guys that the audience is really going to connect to and say, you know what, I'm voting for Seasons, this is the band, they really are what Self Made is all about? Well, I just feel like right now, especially in celebration of Women's Month, um, it's such a time that we are missing that girl group sound. We are missing, you know, seeing these groups of strong women on screen and on the radio. And I just think it's such a good time right now. 100%. So, competition's called Self Made. What do you think the audience is going to see in you? Why are they going to vote for you as the winners of Self Made? I think that we are great candidates for self-made because we are four different women that have four different lives, four different experiences throughout those lives, but the same message in the end. And that's just to come together to spread passion and love and light and just be whoever you are. And I think that that shines through in our music and it shines through in our personalities and just who we are as a group. And I hope that that's why people would pick us. So. Yes, so amazing guys, thank you so much for joining us. That is winter, spring, summer, and autumn. And if you guys at home resonate with everything that they have to say and you think they truly are self-made, all you gotta do is vote for them because there's so many cool things that they could win. You know, there's a record label, there's an A&R package, radio promo, and so much more. And of course, the honor of being crowned the first American self-made champion. So uh, we'll see them later on in the competition. Thanks guys, bye. 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 All right, we thank those girls for joining us. Very cool. Next up from New York, we have an incredible vocalist with a wild set of pipes. She's got old school R&B soul and someone to definitely keep an eye on over the next few weeks. Let's roll the clip because this is Perry Jones. Crazy because I want all of your time. In my selfish because I think all of it's mine. I'm out of my mind if you ain't with me. 
Where else would you be? You make me believe Something's wrong with me, nothing's wrong with me at all I wanna be the one you trust, one you love, one you And here she is joining us. This is Perry Jones. Hi, Perry. Hi. That was a very beautiful song. Tell us about the writing process and what the story is about it. Oh, you know, Teardrops is just a love song that talks about, you know, kind of meeting somebody and, and kind of just being in an, in, an in uncomfortable space with them and just trying to like figure it out, you know, but being comfortable enough with that person to like be honest with them. Right, right. Is there like a sequel to that song? Did it all work out? The story is still being written, honestly. It's still being written, to be continued. Ah, it remains to be seen. Good for you, good for you. Well, it's all about taking, you know, real life stuff and putting it into your music. Do you have a, a writing process that you feel is maybe unique or how do you go about writing your songs? Honestly, I feel like um, it just happens sporadically. A true artist reflects on the times that they live in and the, the things that have take place around them. So I just try to stay true to that. Well, no, I'm just saying, you know, when you're making music and you're having visions of what your future looks like, what what does it look like? Honestly, I just kind of go with the flow. You know, I, I really don't have any expectations. I just want to make the best art that I can make in um, timeless music now. You know what I mean? That surpasses me. Absolutely. I think that's really key when your music does last forever. Um, when you're in doing this competition, is there something that the the audience should keep in mind when they watch you? Of Maybe some things that you feel makes you special that will give you that extra edge for everyone to vote for you? I want everybody to be their interpretation and perception of me, perspective of me to be open, to remain open. So I just, I want people to take it as they, as they see it, you know? as it is. Thank you for joining us, Perry. You're super cool. And if everybody at home wants to vote for you, they know what to do. And if uh, you believe you are self-made, we will see if you truly are the winner. So thank you for joining us, Perry. Bye. Goodbye. Coming up next, we got a singer songwriter that will definitely make you laugh. He's got jokes and a voice of an angel. His comedic songs have been shared all across social media. This is J.O. Wrote the song about your mom. I'd rather play 2K unless you want a super smash If I'm choosing you and Madden, then you know I got a fast If you playing with my heart, better treat it real well Cause if we don't end up winning, I'll be playing with myself If you wanna play games, we can play games If you wanna play games, we can play games He's talking about our moms, but we'll forgive him It's J.O., what's up, dude? How you doing? <laughs> Where are you coming to us from, man? I'm from Los Angeles, California, born and raised. Love the city. Absolutely. Well, great job with the video. We're happy you're in this competition. What has been your musical history? What's your background? Oh, thank you, man. Um, I always loved singing, but I never really started singing until I was in college. My whole family's athletes. Nobody does music in my family. So um, when I did track freshman year, somebody came to me and said, hey, I heard you like singing on the track team, your nickname's Happy Feet. You should come try out for choir. And I was like, what? Like, I never sang before, like, in an organized choir or anything, but he was like, they're giving a scholarship, and I was a walk-on, so <laughs> I got scholarship to be on choirs. Um, hopped in, like, five of them, like, a world-winning choir. I joined the year after, and I got to sing on Radio Disney Awards show. And then at that moment, I kind of decided, like, I really want to do this, like, for a living and start pursuing my career, so started songwriting and uh, started my career. Yeah, 2019 started releasing music. All right, excellent. So the audience, this is a democratic competition. The audience is getting to choose the winner. Why do you think you are self-made and are gonna win this competition? Well, I believe I'm self-made because uh, I'm an example of it's never too late to start and it's never, never ever too late to keep going. So never quit. So I'm just constantly trying to do everything on my own. You know, songwriting is not the same for everyone. Everyone sort of has their own process. Is there a certain way you write songs? Yeah, um, I, I definitely have had those uh, moments where I'm like stuck, but uh, throughout time, I actually have like a couple long lists of just like lyrics and song concepts that I just like have written down. So um, uh, for instance, like, if I have a song concept like I Love You Too, that was the very first song I wrote. Um, and the melodies kind of come around 
and I'll voice record melodies and so on. It might be a year later, it might be a week later. You know, how has TikTok, Instagram, social media impacted your career? What it really showed me was that personality is what people are gonna be drawn into, not just music. It's because a lot of my older fans were like, oh, I didn't even know you were funny. Like, all I was listening to was your music. So, um, uh, social media has helped me show a lot more of who I am and in turn, uh, it translates better because people are supporting me for me and not just like the music, you know? A lot of my family members didn't believe in me at first and now they do, so I definitely believe that I've built where I'm at, where I'm at now uh, through grind and hard work and never giving up, so that's why I'm self-made. Absolutely, so thank you for being part of this competition because so far you are exemplifying what it means to be self-made, so hopefully the audience feels the same and will crown you the winner, but we'll find out. So thank you for being here, J.O. All right, up next is a TikToker who's got some serious credentials. She's a singer-songwriter with Eastern roots and a Western upbringing that she attributes her unique sound to. This is Keys. When the light in my eye is fading, everything that I know is changing, like a wind blowing over the branches, like a wish blowing second chances. Looking back, all I see are memories of the places I thought I would be. Now I know that all I can do is to follow, follow it through into the darkness. All right, so that was Keese, and here she is joining us now. What's up, Keese? Hey, how are you doing? So good, thank you for being here. Why don't we just start right off the rip? Why do you think you are self-made and should be the winner of this competition? I think I am self-made because I'll, all I've done my whole life is train, 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 and I've been doing everything to become a successful independent artist all on my own. Like, I graduated music industry in college. I studied the business side. I know what my contracts mean. When, when they come to me, I can say yes, I can say no. I do all my own album art. I write all my own music. I produce, vocal produce every single one of my songs. I do all the emails, the PR blasts, the <laughs> you name it, I'm doing it on my own. Wow, it, it really is a full-time job to do everything, so good for you for making that happen. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your backstory? Where are you from? How'd you start musically? What's your story? So um, my parents originally are from Armenia, so they moved to LA and they met here and they had me and two other glorious babies, which are my siblings. Um, and I'm a born and raised LA girl. Uh, and that has impacted me a lot because our Armenian culture is food, music, family and love and a lot of passion. So <laughs> we've um, I've kind of weaved that into my music. Absolutely. So why don't you tell us a little bit about the song that you submitted for this competition? Of course. So the song I submitted for the competition is called Into the Darkness. Um, I went at this with the premise of adding all my Armenian elements into it. So you can hear Armenian traditional drums in there. You got um, traditional melodies, but I'm singing in English and on top of that, I kind of like snuck in some Armenian words like chants, party chants we have in the chorus and like you'll sing along to it, but you won't know what you're saying. The song kind of is just about doubt, like not knowing what the future holds. Being an independent artist is hard um, and there's a lot of hurdles you have to jump through. So it's kind of just about following the journey and trusting that the universe will, will pay you back for it, you know, flying into the darkness, running straight ahead. Awesome. Well, thank you for being here, Keys. Awesome stuff. Guys, if you're rocking with what Keys has to say, all you got to do is vote for her. And if she has the most votes, that's it. She will be the winner of Self Made. So thanks for joining us, Keys. We'll see you later. Bye. Thank you so much. Wow, we are only halfway through the competition. Look how much incredible talent we have. Let's keep it going because up next is an artist and producer who makes pleasing pop with a meaningful message. This is Nico. I don't want to wait to feel heartbroken. I don't want to wait until I die. I just want to get into it with you. I just want to make you feel all right. All right, that was Nico doing his thing with this song, Make You Feel. Let's find out what he was talking about. What's up, Nico? Hey, how's it going? Good, thank you for entering the competition. Very cool stuff. So the song is called Make You Feel. Who, make who feel what? What's going on with the song? Uh, so I wrote the song uh, when I was thinking about kind of that feeling of 
falling in love for the first time, you know, when you're falling for that first big crush in your life, um, where it feels like nothing else in the world matters and it's just everything. Um, so make you feel is about that sense of urgency uh, around falling in love for your first crush. What does the audience not know about you as an artist that you'd like to share? Who, who are you as an artist? Let's see, well, uh, I do basically everything myself. I have a few collaborators, but ultimately I'm the writer, producer, engineer, mixing engineer. Um, so I do all my own artwork and uh, create all my own music videos. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a DIY uh, project for sure. Well, we're so glad you're part of this competition because that's what Self Made is all about, sort of doing it all yourself. Is that something that was like a revelation for you in the past few years? Because as an artist, you used to not be able to do all that. So how did your career sort of shift in the last few years when you realized, oh, you know what? I could just put this in my own hands. Honestly, I didn't even realize it was a choice that I was making uh, until well after I had made it. Growing up, it was just, that was the only thing. You know, you did everything yourself. I grew up in a small town where there was no industry for entertainment. So uh, I just, that's all I've ever really known. And it's only until I moved to LA where uh, I started realizing, oh, there are all of these different people that take on these different roles for an artist that I've been doing myself. Very cool. A lot of cool stuff going on in your life. So you guys, if you're rocking with Nico, all you gotta do is vote for him to be the self-made winner, especially if you like that moody romantic stuff, this might be the guy for you. All right, Nico, well, best of luck in the rest of the competition and we'll see you a little bit down the road. Later, man. Woo, this lineup is on fire. Proud, baby. And this next artist is no exception, a young prodigy from South Africa. This artist is someone to watch. This kid has got some serious Bieber vibes. Stefan Benz! And I play no games, it's me and you tonight. I'm gonna count the days to me and you collide. I know the same nothing that you used to. But tonight I leave it up to you. Oh, that was some really good stuff. Welcome, Stefan Benz. What's up, Stefan? I am great. Thank you so much for having me here today. How are you doing? Dude, how old are you? I'm 14 right now. 14? 14 in September. Um, 26 is my birthday. Um, so that means I was born in 2006. And now a lot of people, when I meet them, were like, I was doing this in 2006 when you were born. Um, so. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. But since you're 14, you're so talented. How long have you been playing guitar, writing songs? What's your musical background? Um, well, when I was a kid, um, I when you were a kid, what do you mean? Okay, no, no. Okay, I'm still a kid. I know. Um, when I was like four or five, I honestly didn't think I was going to, you know, do music. Um, I would say I really started uh, when I was nine, um, and I've been playing the guitar ever since then playing the piano. Um, I play the piano and guitar every day now. Yeah, I thought this, the video you entered, the direction was very pure, and we've seen some of your other videos. How do you think this performance reflects who you are as an artist today, and yeah, potentially where you're going? I think you're right. I think that the description of it being like pure is, is a good one, because I feel like in, in today's age, everything's a lot more like manu manufactured. Like I want to go into a really like on B direction, I guess. Um, and I definitely think it represents what I'm trying to do because I'm trying to do more of a stripped down thing and just take it back to like basics, you know? That's cool, that's cool. It's connecting on a deeper level. So the audience, when they're watching you, they're gonna vote for people they really love. What do you think it is about your performances or what do you hope the audience notices in you and that's why they vote for you? Yeah, I, I definitely try to evoke, um, I guess, emotion when it, comes to, when it comes to whenever I do my performances. That's the main thing that I think makes me stand out. Um, is the more, like I said, the stripped down thing. And I think that uh, something like that that's stripped down a lot of the times, um, it, it's easier to, I guess, reach your emotions. All right, well, thank you, Stefan. Thanks for joining us. You are on fire. 
Um, if the fans at home like what they have to hear from you and see, which I'm sure a lot of young guys do, you got a teenager from uh, South Africa here in the top eight going for the championship of season one of Self Made. So, Stefan Benz, thank you again for joining us and you at home. If you guys like Stefan and want to vote for him, you know what to do. Our next contestant, like all the others, is a truly self made artist. Coming from NYC, her submission had us all captivated. Her incredible voice and talent for songwriting stood out. This is Lexis Jenkins. Oh yeah, that is how it's done. Please welcome to the show, Lexis Jenkins. What's up, Lex? Hi, how are you? I'm good, nice to see you. Great work on the music. Thank you. Okay, so now you saw that this competition is happening. What was the first thing that was going through your mind? Um, I thought that was a great opportunity to hop onto it because this is the perfect time to go for what you usually don't go for. I mean, we're in quarantine, it's the middle of the pandemic, it just, go for everything, honestly. So the opportunity, you're saying that, oh, it doesn't come up that often for like to enter a competition from home and here here it is. Yes. Is self-made something that you're all about? Tell me about what you're working on throughout the year as far as the music you're putting out, the videos you're doing. Um, so throughout the year, personally, I've been working at a preschool, but on my off days and when I have time, I'm just always playing my guitar, but that's really nothing new. I've been playing my guitar since I was six years old, nonstop. So, continue to write music because it's something I love. What? Why do you think the audience is going to pick you as the winner of Self Made? What do you think it is about you that's going to stand out? The audience and I would both have something to give to each other. You know, for me, they have their ears and they're listening. But for them, I just hope that I give them music that touches them all in a different way. Um, one person can touch someone that's going through something at home or something that they've been through in their life. And that's my main goal is just to touch every single person personally. Well, what is your writing process? Take us through a sample of putting a song together from conception through delivery. Okay. So when I really want to sit down and just compose a song, I'll start with my guitar verse and I'll just start plucking and plucking until I find something that sounds like a story and not just like a sound. Once I have my story with my guitar, I start to put lyrics to it to bring it to life. Very nice. So if you guys want to vote for Lexis Jenkins, you know what to do. Hit us in the uh, IG story and we'll find out whether Lexis has what it takes to be the winner of season one, Self Made. Whew, okay, only one spot left. Who's ready to meet the final contestant for season one of Self Made? Drum roll, please. Coming in from the Big Easy New Orleans, a three-person indie band who is bringing bands back. This is Lip Candy. Now that is a true DIY video right there. Time to meet our final contestants of Self Made. What's up, Lip Candy? What's going on? Uh, How dude. we doing? All right, that was awesome work that you guys put together during quarantine. Introduce us to the band. Who are we, who are we talking to? So my name's Thomas. I sing and I play guitar. I'm Philip. I play bass. I'm Alex and I'm the drummer. Look how coordinated you guys are already. This is like <laughs> professionals. You look good. You're clean cut. You have an image going for yourself. How long have you guys been a band? We've been a band for about a couple years now, yeah. about two years or so. Yeah. And so when you got together, what's the conversations that surround starting a band? Are you saying to each other, we're going to be the biggest band in history, let's do it guys. Or what's those conversations like? So 
that's, that's exactly how the conversation actually <laughs> sort of like <laughs> that's what i'm saying in my head but whenever i'm talking to them about starting a band i try to be cool with this so i'm like hey we should jam sometime but in my head i'm like we're gonna be the biggest band in the world i'm gonna you know what i'm saying absolutely and so how has the journey been you know using TikTok, instagram technology to take your career to the next level been a lot it's been unreal it's kind of crazy to think that like everything just got flipped upside down we were used to playing shows all the time and now we're just used to making TikToks all the time which is fun <laughs> in and of itself we're excited for things to open up again yeah. too you know all that absolutely stuff. well you know this is going to be a fan driven competition you know as you guys post your challenge videos throughout the week it's going to be up to the fans to decide whether they think you guys should win. So what has been the fan interaction like throughout these past few months as you guys have been a band? Recently, it's it's picked up a lot. We've kind of developed a small little army. Uh, we call our so we call our fans the Candy Crew and we have just like seen new people come in every day. They come from TikTok, Instagram. We've been posting a lot on YouTube. Uh, He's been twitching a lot and they're just, they're just flooding in, to be honest. And it's crazy to see them all kind of unite together behind us. You know, it's really yeah. cool. They all have their, each other's phone numbers and they text each other like, yeah. on the daily. Well, you know, it's a tough competition. There's eight finalists. Why do you guys think you could be the winners of Self Made? Uh, if I'm being honest, I think uh, bands are just becoming less and less of a thing. Um, I, you know, you see all these solo artists, you know, not to, you know, not that I'm talking ill on sol solo artists, but I think bands and rock in general kind of need a revival. I don't really see too many bands doing it anymore. And so I think when people see us, it's, it's kind of cool to see an actual band um, kind of kind of do it, you know? Fantastic. Well, you guys are in the top eight right now and there's only going to be one winner. So before we get to the finals, what are you guys going to be doing to make sure that you are the winners? I'd say just trying to rally the troops. Absolutely. If, yeah. Just, raise the flags. Yeah. Get everybody ready mm -hmm. to just absolutely. We need everybody to, to join the candy crew and absolutely. we're going to make it happen. Yeah. All right. So if you guys want to vote for lip candy, you guys know what to do. And so for you three, thank you so much for joining us. You guys are rock stars already, no matter whether uh, you win self-made uh, or not. So we'll see you in a little. That is lip candy. So there you have it, the eight contestants of Self Made Season 1. Make sure to tune in tomorrow at Go Self Made on Instagram or Get Self Made on TikTok to stay in the loop because we'll be starting our daily challenges for all of our contestants and resharing their posts on our story. We'll be posting a new challenge every day for the next three days. On Monday, we need you to vote. We'll be hosting the vote exclusively on our Go Self Made Instagram page, so make sure to watch our stories and join the revolution. You, our self made community, are in the driver's seat. Tell us who you love. It is that easy, because only you can decide who will reign as champion of Self Made Season 1. And if that is not enough, we'll be hosting all the full unedited interviews with each artist under the profiles at livexlive.com slash selfmade. Tune in, participate, and don't wait. See you all there. I'm Dylan, and this is Self Made.